Hello, this is Hakuna Bean, and today we are going to be reading in the back room of Manana number 13, also known as A Way Out. If you like this video, please leave a like on the video, comment down below, and subscribe to the channel. And let's get right into this. Phenomena on 13. Phenomena. <laughs> By the recto of 12, 9, 5, 19. From the overseers, the following file has been and locked away from those without, without security classification. And top secret ranking or higher. Questions regarding this directive must be taken up with any high-ranking mag staff. I can read that for a second. They have black on, on dark red. That's really hard to read. With access to the file in question. Warning! Do not continue without proper author authorization. Looking through the general public database, you notice almost immediately how phenomenon 13 is locked under a high level of clearance, clearly unlike any of the other files. You want to know why, so you decide to take matters into your own hands by setting out a plan to obtain access to the file by any means necessary. With the cover of darkness help conceal your identity and movements, you make a fearless decision and manage to swipe a high level authorization code from Base Alpha. I could not read that. Although a number or was scratched off during the chaotic ice, you can make off mostly unscathed. After fleeing from the base, you run for hours on end until step leveling upon level 11. A few minutes later, you manage to find a working computer in an abandoned hotel far from prying eyes, and log into the e device for you to the intimidating terminal, just waiting for you to make one wrong move to alert the mech of your presence and ruin your whole plan. It's time to find out what's behind the curtain. You take a deep breath and push a button on the terminal. Archive file! Phenomenon 13! Authorization code required! Click to insert! Warning! Do not continue unless clearance is approved! Authorization being verified. Please wait. Irregularity detected. Force override initiated. Temporary access granted. Please proceed. Credentials temporarily verified. Description. Phenomenon 13, otherwise known as A Way Out, is an advanced form of meditation that has been refined and perfected by radicalized as religious cults known as the Egress as Brotherhood. It has been shared and taught to those whom the Brotherhood has deemed worthy to initiate into its ranks. The Egress Brotherhood has claimed that over the past three years, they have been able to successfully re-enter the front rooms via this technology. I mean, this technique. According to multiple sources within the Brotherhood, they have developed a way out for nearly three decades and have only recently been able to develop a seven-step plan that, according to them, is guaranteed to grant anyone who completes the process the ability to no clip back into the front rooms. Investigations overseen by high-ranking Ingmeg officials have has been able to confirm the veracity of these rumors. A way out is currently being tested in a highly controlled setting to verify the legitimacy of the methods involved. Discovery informants within the Brotherhood have confirmed that the organization was a highly religious cult that developed over the centuries as part of one of the lost societies is and broke off following multiple foundational altercations. Records of the lost archives have provided very little documentation and evidence about the history of the Brotherhood, which indicates a disgraceful and hostile breakup. Following the breakoff, the Brotherhood expanded its membership and has developed a strong foothold within several different levels, the most notable of which is level 63. 
On June 15, 2017, following multiple reports of religious cult carrying off sections of meditation points in level 63, Mech Team Volunteer Squad entered the level and was able to subdue nine members of the cult, while the rest fled from the scene. In apparent vow of silence, seven of the detained cult members refused to say anything in the subsequent interrogation. Of the remaining two, oh, one early muttered the words, You fools don't realize salvation is right in our hands. They did not speak again and following a statement. The last remaining cult member, assumed to be most recently inducted, was the only one willing to cooperate, agreeing to divulge what he knew in an interview. The interview has been transcribed below. Interview. Interviewer. Field researcher Lee. Interviewee. Bryce Fridley. Member of the Egress as Brotherhood. Begin log. Please state your name for the interview. Bryce Bentley. Okay, good. So let's jump straight it in. Tell me why you are here and your affiliation with the Egress Brotherhood. I was a deeply religious man and back in the front rooms. The moment I entered this endless purgatory, my mind nearly broke and my faith wavered. After many months, I was introduced to the Brotherhood. Something inside me turned on the moment I found out about them. As if God himself had arranged for it to happen. I immediately reached out to them and was graciously accepted into their ranks. Hmm, that's all well and good, but I was hoping you would tell us more about what the Brotherhood was planning on doing in level 63. Renting access to meditation points at that level is a, serious, is a very serious transgression in the eyes of many wanderers. Including the Meg. Look, I will be the first to say it. As much as I am devoted to the Brotherhood, I have not actually been given the most up-to-date information. Probably because I am a I am only a recently converted member. Surely you must have heard something from someone. What information can you give us then? I've heard a lot of things. Some true, some not. But I can't get into the exact details. However, I do know this for certain. They found it. Found what? A way out. A way out? Yes. Can you believe it? We can finally leave this wretched place. I almost couldn't believe it when they first told me, but I was convinced after seeing the results myself. Are you saying the Brotherhood has found a way to escape the back rooms and enter back into the front rooms? That is exactly what I am saying. At this point, Researcher Leaf is left in mild annoyance. Oh, you're one of those cults. I can tell you don't believe me. I'm sorry, it's just... We spend our lives here trying to escape, and it just so happens that this random brotherhood no one's ever heard of has found it. We've dealt with organizations like yours before. Outlandish claims are a dime a dozen here. But this may take the cake. Sometimes, you just need a little faith. I'm all ears then. How on earth did you find a way out? As I said, I'm very low on the hierarchy, but I do know this. There's some kind of written plan. I've never seen in it myself, but what I've been told is that it has seven steps. If you can complete the seven steps, you can leave the back rooms. Where is this plan? That's where your luck ends, my friend. Only the eldest and most loyal members of the Brotherhood have access to the plan. Hmm. I see. Well, we have all the time and resources in the world to find it. And log. Follow up. Owing to Bryce Wendley's claim of taking either a portion of the or the entirety of the Brotherhood's seven step plan is now a high a level priority.
Following the interview, a concerted effort was made to track down and obtain any items or objects relating to the Brotherhood or information relating to the Seven Step Plan. Initial attempts were frustrated by members of the Brotherhood who used undocumented objects to evade capture on the verge of apprehension. After nearly two long two year long investigation involving raids and interrogations, the following document was finally pieced together. It is believed to be the official seven step plan. The seven step plan a way out. One, one must as, as volunteer to remain in celibate for the rest of their moral lives. I repeat the words, non con Oop, it's skim. Latin for, I will not covet. Seven times into a lit altar. One must refuse food and drink seven times. And I heard the phrase, non sum um glosis. Latin for, I am not a glutton. For seven days in a row. Three, one must forfeit an auto material wealth and be left with nothing of value by burning their possessions with a set been pronged torch. Four, one must not sleep or rest for seven days. Five, one must give their most despised enemy any of seven items or seven requests that they must desire. Six, one must work under those who that that they are most envious of for seven weeks. <clears throat> Seven, one must rid themselves of all personal interactions for seven months. After the end of each day, the phrase non habio sub uprobia pure is some. Latin for I have no pride, I am pure. Will be spoken. These are the only words that one is allowed to use in these seven months. Upon the completion of the seven trials, You'll be cleansed of all the sins you have accumulated in your life. Track to tranquility and continue your final journey. We have to discover a meditation point, isolate yourself, and begin a way out. Close your eyes and envision a moment right before you fell into this endless purgatory. Referencing the back rooms as a whole. Visualize every aspect of this moment as hard as you can. Continue this process until you think you have achieved the true state and open your eyes. If you succeed in your endeavor, you will return to the exact moment you left the earthly plane. Factum est. Latin for it is done. Imagine. Testing. Soon after the seven steps plan was transcribed, testing took place on detained cult members in the middle of their procedure and on volunteer wanderers. Below is a log of the test that took place over 15 months. Test number 1. Testing name, Father Er Hinnaman. De deviations from seven a plan. Successfully completed at steps 1 to 7 without any deviations. Results. Mete and disappeared after two minutes. Additional notes. Highest ranking captured member of the Egress Brotherhood. 2. Priest Warren. Followed the injunctions up until the final day of Step 7 where he accidentally spoke. Meditated and disappeared after 14 hours. Fourth the command of the Egress Brotherhood. Three, Brother Marx. Replace every number seven with a number six and follow the, the modified steps from um, there on. Meditate for forty nine hours with the bottom six sevenths of the testes his body disappearing. Two year member of the Egress Brotherhood. Four. Eric Wiggins, that's a weird name, fell to complete steps 3 and 4. After 3 hours of meditation, the testes closed and eyes disappeared. First non-brotherhood 
remember to partake in th in this test. Five. Sally Land intentionally failed to complete every step. Details are too appalling to describe. Mrs. Lane's loved ones may be informed of the results. First non mega lined member to be tested. 6. Nicholas Harmon successfully completed steps 1 through 7 without any deviations. It is done. First successful test of a non Brotherhood member. Beautiful. Implementation. After four successful tests in a row, the mega researchers announced at a monthly summit that they had found a way out of the back rooms. In order to prevent the chaos and disorganization of a mass exodus, the overseers initially planned to gradually release information about the seven step plan and to multiple waves of wanderers over a set period of time. In the 10 months following, estimates have put the number of wanderers to have escaped the backrooms to be 7. File automatically locked due to potentially fraudulent security authorization. Please inf input credentials alone below to continue. Error! Credentials revoked. Please re-enter the appropriate credentials. Click to insert. Authorization denied. Redirecting to the next appropriate document. Please proceed. Here's the truth. Credentials invalid. Meg and Tar Ar 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 To those of you who have access to read this far into the file, I think you know why I this has been kept so secret for so long from so many people. However, I know one day someone somewhere somehow would get access to this file without the appropriate clearance. And if you are reading this memo, then you are the one. I believe you are owed an apology and ex an explanation for what is happening. Your mind is probably filled with hazards of questions, but what remains fun and the center? There is a way home, and Meg is hiding it from us? The entire goal of the Meg is to find a way home and prevent the anyone from knowing how to get to go back home is the antithesis of our very foundation. So why did I lock this file so that no regular wanderer could, could see it? This file doesn't tell the whole story. Sure, the Egress Brotherhood and their sunset plan exist, but their beliefs were mistaken. When I saw the first three tests on the cultists who seemingly disappeared back into the front rooms following the completion of the seven instead of plan, I could not begin to put into words what I was thinking at that moment. We no longer have to suffer in this endless purgatory. We could start our lives over again, go back home, leaving the past behind us. But it is, but it is never that easy here, is it? If only, we know the real truth now. The seventh step plan doesn't send you back home. It just sends you deeper into the prison we are trying to escape. The list of all those we sent to their deaths stretches on and on, even more, each more gruesome than the last. Logan Chang. Location level 48, impaled via a palm tree. Name, location, circumstance of death. Ghost of Gweba, location, I mean, level 126, flesh frozen to death. Dalton Snyder, level 8, carbon monoxide and poisoning, body desecrated by spiders. Tracy Gold, level 2, fried to black mass from 60,000 volts of electricity. 
Herman Poole, level 11, buried alive under a highway. Ellie Russo, level 55, chopped up and cruelly packaged into a freezer. Marianne Michaels, level 176, 235 baseball cleats implanted onto the bo onto into body. Huh. Hearing about baseball, that actually kind of reminds me of Duncan Rafa, even though this is not all the same. Right. Kyra McConnell, level 63, belt plate ace wooden boards as bridge steps. Juan Curtis, level 78, exploded. Jonathan Hatchett, 127 plus levels. Various body parts recovered throughout multiple levels. Janet and Bill's Otherland, level 38, one with the back rooms. Father Hinneman, hell, faded it into the shady gray. We found every single body, every last one, not one of them that got out. This is just one small portion of the list, and trust me when I say that each corpse was more horrifying than the last. Whatever this is, it's certainly not even close to a way home. We were already about to release this file on the database when the first body started to turn up. Even then, in our hubris, in our desperation, we kept going. By the time we figured out what we'd done, and locked out this file from the public permanently, the body count was in the hundreds. At this point, you might be asking yourself, if this phenomenon is so dangerous, why not just delete it entirely? The answer is simple. This document was never meant for you. It is meant for the rest of us. I lie awake at night thinking about what we did, sending wave after wave of innocent folks to their demise, not knowing what we were really doing is our greatest failure and my greatest burden. Their blood is on our hands, and we cannot atone. This is what has led us here, this very file, an undying memory of what we have done, what we have caused. Giving way to dangerous information without knowing the whole truth has doomed so many. We cannot forget what happened here, and we cannot forgive ourselves. Too many people have been lost for us to just wipe it off the record books and pretend it never happened. I have failed in my job as an overseer. I'm guilt-written over all those we've sent down this path, yet I keep this entire file up as a constant remember to those that need it, it most. Never give up. No matter how much suffering this dread place causes, do not lose hope. We will find a way out of here. I swear on it. Over to C, Andrew. Devil you know, over the devil you don't. Oh, that's just author stuff, it looks like. That got dark. That was Phenomenon 13, I did not think it would get so dark so quickly. If you like this video, please leave a like on the video, comment down below, and subscribe to the channel. I have absolutely no idea what I'm going to be doing tomorrow. So until then, goodbye!